Flat Earth Clue is 14. The Coat of Credibility. For most of us, getting dressed means just putting on something that gets us through the day. For others, it's projecting forward a subtle, or not subtle, reflection of our personality. But for some, it's uniform. A garment that displays literally their position in society. We see them all the time. Fireman, law enforcement, school teacher. And the clothes over time reinforce the ideas of that position or career similar to the bell of Pavlov's dog. We see the uniform and the idea behind the institution is imprinted onto the wearer. Without knowing anything about the person, we see bravery, protection, educational excellence, and there are many variations of these types. One uniform is, however, unique and is the focus of this clue. It is the lab coat, or what I like to call the coat of credibility. The coat of credibility is by all accounts nothing special. It's normally white, but sometimes can be a light shade of blue, about 40 inches long, may or may not have pockets, and really serves no functional purpose. It can't protect you from fire, has no tactical value, and doesn't have any built-in accessories to help you in a lab. It does have a special ability that until now you may not have noticed. It makes people smarter. Well, maybe not literally more intelligent. You're not going to understand calculus by just putting on the coat, but people around you will subliminally pick up on the visual cue. This is because the media over the years has reinforced the idea through television and movies. Time and time again, when you want to portray someone on screen as very intelligent, you have to put them in a lab setting. And that's what we see. Geeky lab assistant, evil genius, scientist on the verge of a breakthrough, young genius, older genius, they all wear the coat. And the coat can also function as a symbol for general higher education, even if it's not test tubes and electrodes. Doctors often wear the same type of coat to reflect their extra years of graduate work. And you say all these people have earned the right to wear the coat. They've had the schooling and deserve to wear the uniform. And the actors, of course, get a pass because they are portraying a highly intelligent person who has absorbed all the university material. But wait, that's where things can go too far. Because where do we draw the line between actor and academic? Take this guy, for example. Some of you know him, and some do not. He received a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and then ditched it immediately to become an actor. The acting career was slow going until he put on the coat and started talking to kids about science. Keep in mind, he is not a licensed educator or a scientist of any kind. He just played one on TV. But then something strange happened. Some of the media who remembered him from their childhood brought him on to answer light science questions. And because he was an actor, it played well. So he was brought on again and again. People started believing, at least subliminally, he was a scientist. Here he is at NASA and an interview on climate change and talking politics and a march for science and uh, you're killing me bill killing me would any of this have happened without the coat not a chance it was the coat that gave him credibility when there was none and turned a small-time actor into one of the ranking faces of science no published papers no graduate work just the coat the white coat, symbolizing an elite intellect, separating the men of science from how they see the rest of us. They are above reproach. We are not. 
They engage in raising the bar of civilization while we engage in other things. The white coat protects them, transforms them, regardless of who they are. Man, woman, black, white, Oompa Loompa. Everyone who puts on the coat immediately becomes more credible. See this guy here? He sells water products for a living. He's also a Flat Earth member and was at a large meetup in Los Angeles. He put on the coat, held a clipboard, spoke with confidence, and at one point held a captive audience, including me. Was it his stylish good looks? Was it his message? Was it the hat? You decide. Bravery, protection, intelligence. What's the difference between the three? You can't pretend to be a fireman or a cop. You can, however, use the coat to convince people of just about anything regarding science, including the shape of the world itself. People say that it's been proven for hundreds or even thousands of years that the Earth is a globe. Proven by whom? The men in the white coats? They didn't prove anything. They told you it was a globe, and you bought it, because we believe the world that is presented to us. So if you see me wearing a white lab coat from time to time, understand why. It's to make a point that not everything is what it first appears to be, and clothes do not always make it the man. <laughs>